Hi Aquariuses, welcome to my channel and welcome to your love reading for April 2019. Please like this reading if it resonates with you and also subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell for notifications so that you can um, learn about future readings as they become available. I will be doing a new moon reading uh, before April 5th, which is when our new moon takes place and it is in Aries in April. So tune in for that. And in the meantime, let's sync up. Let's see what's... Uh, Let's see what's going on with you and your love interest or your partner or your, your um, significant other. Let's look at your energy first. What energy are you embodying? What energy are you bringing to the table in terms of this relating, this love relationship? Your love interest. What is Aquarius all about right now? I hope you're having a beautiful start to your spring. The weather around here is um, starting to warm up and uh, I've really been enjoying my evening walks with my familiar, um, which is a 110 pound German Shepherd who has very bad walking manners. Poor, poor walking manners. So I guess that's my fault probably. Um, let's look at your energy though. These cards are, they're, uh, taking their time. Ooh, Aquarius. We got the magician. So really being in a place where you're, you're ready to take action, you're ready to manifest. And then we have the four of pentacles. You're letting go of something. You've been holding on. You're coming out of this place of holding on and feeling a lack around, um, maybe a lack around love, a lack around your connection in love. Um, holding on really tightly. And now you're coming out of this. You're letting go and you're ready to manifest. Whew. Nice, I guess you learned that lesson. Um, let's look at what your partner, your love interest is bringing to the table. What are they offering? What's their energy all about in terms of this relating and relationship with you, Aquarius? Let's look at them. Yeah, the magician, perfect. Perfect time for the magician, for you to enter into magician mode, honestly, because, you know, Aries season and all. You got the... You got the backing for that. Seven of Pentacles. Working really hard. It, this is the card. Okay, let me back up. This is the card of waiting. So you're waiting for the harvest. You're waiting to harvest um, the fruits of your labor. And also it's about, um, it speaks to having worked really hard, having put in the effort. Um, and this is what your love interest is bringing to the table. So waiting on something, waiting for something to ripen. Um, and also being totally capable and having proven that they're willing to do the work. Hmm. I wonder if they're waiting on you to um, work your magic, magician. Let's look at the composite energies. Look at the, let's look at the energy. Let's look at how your energies blend. Um, how your energies speak to one another. Let's look at the composite energies between you and them. Oh my God. Let's pull these up. <sighs> Intermission. Okay, so there was, um, geez, six cards that fell out. We're gonna read all of them. <laughs> I guess you guys have a lot to say together. <laughs> where it comes to your energy. Um, the first card that I saw was the Ace of Cups. So you're feeling good about one another. This is a new love. This is a new opportunity in love. Um, I like that. And remember, this is how your energies blend. Like this is what happens when the two of you come together. Possibly how you're feeling about one another. Strength, a great deal of inner strength. Um, I feel like they're looking at you in this way. Like they, they dig this about you. Like I dig your inner strength. I'm vibing on your inner strength. The fool ready to take the leap, a leap in love. Beautiful. Two of cups. Yep. Union happening here. We have the ace of cups and we have the two of cups together. So Aquarius, this is like boding very well for you with this other person. Um, this is really coming together and um, this twin flame energy just resonating. Look at how they're looking at one another with that um, flash of light between their, 
their third eye. Yum. Um, anxiety, nine of swords. Feeling, having some sleepless nights. I mean, either that's because there's high energy and you're just like, um, <laughs> but this is typically the card of having sleepless nights because of fears and anxieties. They're keeping you up at night. And then conflict. This is not, I'm not going to say it's not real conflict. It could be real conflict. Five is the number of conflict and change, but this is more like testing. And especially inside of a relationship, you know how you test one another, especially in the beginning, like, are you safe? Am I safe with you? And that testing behavior is sometimes about that, like trying to determine um, who this person really is and how they will treat you and how they are with you and how they feel about you. So this is that testing energy. Mm. So I get the sense that you are gonna need to, through this process, okay, back up. There's a lot happening here in my mind right now. There is a new love coming in, a new opportunity for love and union with somebody who you're kind of meant to be with. Um, it's a karmic connection. It's a twin flame connection. It's, um, you know, you really, you really want to pursue this opportunity with this person as do they with you. You're both willing to take that leap of faith that's going to come from that new opportunity. Like you're ready for it, like let's do this. However, um, you're gonna have to pull on your reserves, your inner reserves, because this new love opportunity, as exciting and as beautiful as it is, will cause you to have some anxieties as new love opportunities often do if you've ever been hurt in the past that stuff comes up when you have a new love opportunity like am i safe with you are you going to hurt me i feel very vulnerable you know my heart is um my heart is on my sleeve and there will be some testing behavior so testing this other person testing the relationship to see um what it's made of, if it's solid, if it's safe. Okay. So you might have to dig deep and be like, okay, practice awareness. I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling fearful. Um, I have been, like, if you do engage in some of that testing behavior, just be clear about it. Be honest about it. Come, like, um, practice awareness around it and do that work with yourself and really process that for yourself so that it's not um, dismantling the connection that you have with your partner. All right, um, let's pull an approach card. Let's pull a, a medicine card by Sam's and Carson. I love these cards. Um, they're deep, they're insightful, and let's pull a card for you on how to navigate this new love opportunity, this new connection that you have, like any advice that, um, Aquarius can use to anchor themselves as this new love opportunity unfolds. Oh, right away I got spider. Let's look at spider. Um, it's like the female creative energy. Here, let me show this to you. Spider. All right, let's read about spider. Forty-three. Weaving. Spider wove the web that brought humans the first picture of the alphabet. The letters were part of the angles of her web. Deer asked Spider what she was weaving and why all the lines looked like symbols. Spider replied, why dear? It is time for Earth's child, children to learn to make records of their progress in their Earth walk. Deer answered Spider, but they already have pictures that show through symbols the stories of their experiences. Yes, Spider said, but Earth's children's are growing, children are growing more complex and their future generations will need to know more. Sorry, I gotta take a sip of water. My throat's really dry. Um, okay, so there's that information about the alphabet. I don't really get that. Let's move on. 
Here we go. Spider, Spider brings a message of a different kind when she sees you becoming a bit too involved in the weaving of your life plans to notice opportunity at the outskirts of your web. If this is the case, Spider gets your attention so that you notice that something you have woven has borne fruit. Congratulations. Spider caught you just in time before you miss the opportunity on the edge of your web or reality. The most important message from Spider is that you are an infinite being who will continue to weave the patterns of life and living throughout time. Do not fail to see the expansiveness of the eternal plan. So I think this really is about like, okay, so the magician, you manifested this, you brought this into existence, or you are manifesting something really important. And I think it's in the way of love or a connection, a love connection. You manifested this, you wove this. This is your web. Watch out that you don't see the forest for the trees or you get into the weeds and you're not taking, um, you're overlooking the expansiveness of this opportunity, this new love opportunity. And I think that um, when we get afraid and fearful and we have anxiety, it sort of narrows our view, right? Like our, our, our perspective becomes very narrow. Um, and we forget to like widen and um, have a, a lot of that widening or that expansiveness has a lot to do with having faith and trust and coming from this place of openness. And I think that's going to be your challenge for um, this connection, this thing that you've manifested or that you're in the process of manifesting is to really remember to take an expansive view, to um, take a wide angle view, to take that 30,000 foot view and to practice trust and faith um, and be able to navigate some of your anxieties um, by tapping into your inner strength. Otherwise, um, this is like a juicy love connection for you. I'm very excited for you. Um, if it resonates with you, please comment below. I want to know, um, I want to live vi vicariously through your love connection. <laughs> um, but yes, I hope that this resonated and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your April, a beautiful spring, a beautiful start to your spring. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram at LunaSync. If this reading resonated, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for future notifications. Um, or notifications of future readings and I'm wishing you the best uh, magician magician energy like this is such this is my favorite energy manifesting you're weaving your web all right have a great day have a beautiful week and have a beautiful spring